part of what we do in the San Mateo Foster City School District that I think it really sets us apart is we tell our story. By getting everybody who is a part of this work time to be able to sit and talk about their work and share that with our community, I think we're really extending that opportunity for everyone to really understand why we do the things that we do. Our strategic plan was one of the first things that Superintendent Ochoa tackled when he came into our district. And the board fell in line. We're like, absolutely, let's go ahead and do it. With the strategic plan, it kind of anchors our work in every session, in every opportunity. And these priorities are set by our board of trustees. They're equity, they're closing the achievement gap, and they are wellness. The implementation of our strategic plan this year allowed us to establish a baseline in terms of how our students are performing in a wide variety of areas. Recognizing that students, they're all individuals. Having a one-size-fits-all approach is not going to work in a classroom. We have been implementing new assessments that are giving us real-time information back about how our students are doing. Because of our strategic plan this year, we're able to go really deep in certain areas. So one of the things that we did is the focus on early literacy. Having preschool classrooms will pay benefits for the next few years in terms of getting them ready, right? Because they're already prepared for the classroom. They're ready to learn. We're gonna zero in on identifying the students who are struggling and getting them real support. We have built a strong collaboration across our district. Teachers are meeting weekly across sites. So teachers who teach at one middle school are teaching the same content along the same scope and sequence, same as teachers who are teaching at a different school site. One of the things I really enjoy is looking at the math program and seeing the collaboration among students. I release the discussion to the students and see where they begin, what their thinking is, how they make sense of a problem, and then build on their thinking by asking other students to contribute and shape the discussion through what they think. And some of those things that I think really resonate is the idea of equity, which is one of our pillars. And we really focus on the equity work in trying to diversify our staff to make sure that our workforce reflects our student body. I speak Spanish, so being able to connect with students and families with that cultural filter is a really important part of supporting them. One of the goals is wellness, the wellness piece. How do we embrace the work and also pay attention to our students and their mental health? Our families can expect to see the implementation of the culmination of the Inclusion Task Force's work. Next year, we'll be starting with our preschools and we'll be moving forward over the next few years to expand those opportunities for all students as they matriculate up into the upper grades. One of the strategies that our families can anticipate is really having a team at their school. We're creating wellness centers where students have a counselor available to them all day long including lunch and recess and break time. In my 21 years in San Mateo Foster City, I've never been so guided by a strategic plan. It's not enough to simply change how we teach reading. It's about thinking about where kids are now, acknowledging that we want them to get somewhere else in the future, and creating that ladder that gets them there every step of the way. We're all putting in a lot of time and energy and effort but it's for good work. It comes from the strategic plan and it really makes our work meaningful.